Alhamdulillah, bro, to be able to say this, we are launching on the 14th of October, 6 p.m. GMT. And if you're registered to the mailing list, you will get an early access email before the launch. So you have early access before everyone else. Uh, obviously, before considering launching, we're going to consider not launching because obviously all this stuff that's happening in Gaza and stuff like that. And then I spoke to my mom. My mom said, listen, Ahmed, this, it's not haram to launch. It's not haram to conduct business while there's atrocities happening. There's atrocity all the time. But what is haram is, is if you make money and you don't give for a we've decided to dedicate 10% to the people of Gaza inshallah don't see this as something big this is something very very small because at the time of the Prophet when the Sahaba went from Mecca to Medina as Hijra the Sahaba the uh, Ansar gave 10 per, uh, I can't even think anymore, man. I'm just excited. The Ansar gave the Sahaba 50% of everything they owned. I would love to be like the Sahaba and give 50% of everything I own. But unfortunately, I'm not in that position, you know. Or my Iman is not strong enough, you know. I'm not, my Iman is not like the Sahaba. And I'm pretty sure all of our Iman is not like the Sahaba. May Allah make us of those like the Sahaba. I hope you enjoy the vlog. And secondly, every single package that we ship out is going to come with candy. Free candy. Sour candy. Halal. Because I know it's very, very, very hard to get in Muslim countries. It's very, very hard to get in non-Muslim countries. So for pickup... For pick up, type in request pickup from your warehouse. <laughs> Two seconds. Uh, I'll just need to uh, submit. No problem. No, I need to get... As of right now, because we're only starting off with shipping, DHL haven't given us the best of rates. Like we don't want to be given these rates that have been given to us by DHL. Is it possible for us to give cheaper rates for our customers through Plug and Hive? So alter the rates that is given. For example, I would like ten, yeah, I would like ten you year old. Discount, is it? Yeah, adjusted rates. Yeah, it's possible. Me and Louise are just out doing paperwork, yeah. And I said that you miss sitting in the front, That's and it. she said. <laughs> she looked proper sad, man. So you don't miss sitting in the front. No. <laughs> Are your guys. Bismillah, why is it fun? Are your guys. All your guys messages literally warm my heart. Like, I'm not joking. Like, I just read them with a smile on my face, and it's just like, oh, Barakallah, I love that everyone's so supportive. And yeah, it really makes what we, we're doing easier on us you know especially with the <laughs> checking every single abaya we measure every single abaya we go through it we cut off if there's any threads and stuff like that and then we have to repackage and obviously it's quite tedious but it makes it easier on us and this is why i need to make banging abayas so i make banging abayas for all you guys because i know that exactly what's needed in the market because i love i wear abayas myself so i'm always looking for specific things and i just want to get that specific things and make the them launch date. and the launch date is the 14th of october i was about to say 1990 what <laughs> 2003 up 2023 <laughs> yeah i'm so excited i can't wait for you guys to get your hands on them and it's just like so surreal that we're just about to launch like ah! We still have one more thing, so I've been telling Louisa that I want to put candy in every single bag, so we need to find a candy supplier. <laughs> I found a few off Trendyel, but they're expensive, they're like two euro bag or something like that. No way, look what just delivered, fam. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to give everyone free sour candy with every single package. And look at the size of this box. I was wondering, oh, what the hell is this? I don't remember buying this. And it says fragile on it. Look, but look at this, bro. Oh, I can't wait to try one of these. Tutti fruit or waterman. Ah, yes. This is what I wanted, bro. I wanted to give everyone candy and halal candy, you know? I love when it's sour. It's still good. Look at the mountain. This is like we're about to start the candy store. <laughs> It's literally just like boxes, 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 boxes. Is it weird that we're mixing the abaya business and sending people candy? No, I don't think so. I think it's a nice thing though. It's just a little. Because no one has halal candy. It's so hard to get halal candy. And there we have a lot of it. Tutti fruity. Mmm. Rebecca is tutti fruity. You can tell that we're excited about the, the, the sweet. <laughs> we're excited about luncheon, man. I can't yeah, wait. Yeah, I can't wait to actually have a normal apartment again you know our apartment's literally our warehouse even when you clean the apartment it still just looks like you've done nothing because look at all that look over there over there look over there <laughs> and over there oh by the way guys 
another thing like a lot of the things probably won't be coming back into stock i feel like i'm gonna be just changing things all the time be there or be square <laughs> yeah so most of the abayas won't be back in stock we're only gonna do one model that's it but other abaya brands you may know, copy us but but you never know maybe in future there could be like return the return again, return or something like that but to be honest i just want to be bringing in new styles because I, I love like abayas and I love new styles. So I, I don't think we're going to be sticking with the same styles, you know? And we're only a two man team. Yeah. <laughs> bro, 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 man. I'm just after coming here, yeah? And my car was parked here. And these were up like this. And then I put them down and I thought it was normal. So once I put them down, someone spat on my car. Once you put them down, they bent the window wipers. Look at this, bro, scumbag. And then spat on the car. I'm after coming down to our office. I was told that we have a package. Well, what's in this package? I do not know. I went and returned the rental car. I fixed the window wipers and then returned the uh, rental car. Louisa actually told me to go and Amanda, la, 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 la. Yeah. I need to get a fake laptop she can do work with me Louisa told me to go and report that the window wipers were broken but after I fixed them returned the car I didn't have to pay anything to their car rental place I was like no I'm not gonna snitch <laughs> it's not even like that but you know what I was like I was like you know what if I go tell them it's not gonna solve anything to me I already solved the problem I want to just move on with my life yeah like, I don't want to dwell on something that happened. Yeah, man spat on the car and bent the window wipers. I don't know. I don't want to know who it is. Because if I know who it is, he lives in the same block. I'll probably bump into him again. I'll see him. I'll get annoyed every single time I see him. Do you know what I mean? And then I go tell the security downstairs and make a big show and, oh, my window wipers. But I fixed them. I solved the problem. I returned the car. I wasn't telling you like that. I was saying Yeah, yeah I know. I know. Place that has no problem going spitting on I'm vandalizing. Like, I'm vandalizing. Like, that's crazy. I just wanted to say this like, don't dwell on things that happen. Just fix them, move on. That's it. Something happened to you, road rage. This guy called you names. He was racist, blah, blah, blah. This and that. It's going to happen. This is life. There's going to be people who are going to be rude. There's going to be people who lack manners. Don't let it bother you. Follow us. Once you moved on, just move on, that's it. How do you eat the whole box of them sweets, literally? I've been just taste testing. Make sure the product's perfect. <laughs> Say that again. You see when we're shipping, <laughs> if one of them is not folded properly, would we refold it? This guy is a joker. He had people folding them. I'm still folding stuff now, right now. I feel like, like we've been folding the last six months of our life. Is he joking that he thinks on when we're packing But like, let's, say, let's say we do see one that's not not properly folded do we we refold it no no guys thing. let me just uh disclaimer yeah if something comes in and it's not folded that well it wasn't us it was one of ahmed's brothers or my brother my folding is immaculate what about my folding yeah yours is immaculate <laughs> <laughs> like if you get something and it's not folded the best just remember the quality of the abaya forget about the folding okay <laughs> <laughs> the website is now live alhamdulillah thank you guys so much for supporting us on the journey barakallah fikum oh bro i can't i can't speak like i don't know man like barakallah fikum for always supporting us and always being there for us and always correcting us as well when we're wrong when we do wrong we always like to be corrected if you see us do wrong please let us know that listen you've done wrong judge us it's not a problem i'd rather be judged here in the in the dunya than judged in the akhirah it's the scariest place like people say oh only god can judge me oh who are you to judge me no judge us judge us here in the dunya bro barakallah fikum guys the store link is in the bio